Well, good morning, and we're departing Ballyhome Bay, and we're going to do some sailing in the lock today, aren't we? We have helmsman Karen on the job. <laughs> and we're wrecking the boat, very out of practice, not done this. And the two monkeys sailing. are on the sheets, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> the organ grinder's doing the sneering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully, fingers crossed, it will go wild. Karen's a bit out of practice, and she's just a wee bit apprehensive, aren't you? Definitely. <laughs> so, fingers, well, fingers crossed. But the thing is, um, you've got to try these things, and today's a cracking day for sailing. It is. The sea state is brilliantly smooth. I call this smooth to slight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, sea state's fine. So let's get on with some sailing. Yay! <laughs> doing his boat for now, God, five, six years. I wonder, I call it the boat in the bottle, I wonder if it'll ever go in the water. He, started, he bought his boat before we bought Salty Lass. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, anyway, it's been nice um, to have a go helming under sail, because unfortunately we came across the Irish Sea and there wasn't enough um, to put the sails up. So <laughs> There's plenty today. <laughs> yeah, so it's really nice to get a feel for the boat. Um, yeah, loving it. Yes, ready. his way. Don't have to worry about him. Right, well I my boat my configuration Hang on. is Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll tack it. I think this I think this gust is in here. I think it's a long gust. Right, okay. Alright Karen, we're gonna tack we're gonna go towards Okay you ready? Yep. Yeah, ready. Okay, go. Start, start putting pressure against the turn and then centre your wheel. Right, let's see, start. Right, centre your wheel now, Karen. And there you are, you're now behind that fishing boat. Which is what you wanted. It was Karen's last sail before going home. And, while it was not a sunny day, we all had a lovely time in the water. Yeah, so we're now behind. If we can 
go. I think we're actually a good configuration here. Well, we've uh, finally um, in at Bangor. Um, we've so far we've had COVID, so that's all done and dusted. Um, the only issue we had was an inability to taste salt, and uh, one day that we really needed to sleep for the whole day. Uh, but other than that, it was fine. Um, but uh, we're now raring to get on with little jobs, and uh, the first thing we did was win the boat with some help of uh, some uh, <laughs> beefy men. I do like them. the rudder oh gosh there is so much beard on salty lass uh, we've got the dinghy down as well because uh, we've got a hole in the dinghy there's just a host of little jobs that need doing so we're going to get on with those well we've got the dinghy upside down because we do have some very slow leaks in the dinghy we've had them for quite a long time now and this is the first time we've had a chance to trace them down I have got some proprietary cleaner which has been repurposed with soapy HTO and I've been going around spraying it in various places and using a, um, a magnifying glass to look for small bubbles they're not easy to see and basically what they are they're little tiny scratches in the fabric and the air is coming out through them the biggest leak we have is just down here at the back um, so we're going to have to get some rubber cement because ours has gone rock hard and is useless. Um, so we're going to have to get a repair kit. Most of these are very, very small and I'm sure they'll be repaired quite easily. <laughs> Well, all that took place a couple of months ago. It's now in the gap between Christmas and New Year. And Gaynor is busy today. She's up working at her little seasonal job that uh, helps pay the marina bills and a few other bits and bobs. I've been looking after family and friends and getting ready for Christmas when well, all that's behind us now. Um, but what you've seen now is we've used up all our sailing footage from the 2022 season. And that then begs the question of what do we do for the next three months? Given the weather we've had in Bangor for the last couple of winters, <laughs> we've got to face the possibility that we might not get out to do any sailing. Um, last winter was very, very bad, and we're hoping that this winter will be a lot better and we will actually get some sailing action out in the loch. On the chance that we don't, while we were out sailing, we put together about a dozen topics that we hope to cover in our winter section, let's call it between now and April. And basically what they are, they're about a dozen topics of things that we think people would be interested in. But last year, we also did a thing called Viewer Question of the Week. And it went down very well. We got lots of questions of things that people thought they would like to ask us, and we've done our best to answer them. So if you've got things that you would like us to cover, or ideas you want us to cover, do get in contact down in the comments section below and let us know. We'll do our best to include them. It was an interesting year. Um, <laughs> I can't say that it went to plan because it didn't. <laughs> Well, we certainly had some interesting sailing. I know that Gaynor says that um, part of her favourite bit about it was sailing to the Isle of Man both ways. Um, going here from Bangor, we had some atrocious weather. <laughs> I've gone completely off course. But we had some very, very good sailing. It's just a pity that it happened in the dark. Um, whereas coming back to the Isle of Man from Liverpool, we had some of our fastest sailing in the year and it was absolutely lovely. Uh, we had a great time doing that. Uh, for myself, um, 
I really enjoyed down around the south coast of Ireland for me. St. Doing St. Patrick's Bridge was almost magical. The way that the tide and the light was just in that particular thing, I don't think you could have timed it better. I don't think you could have manufactured that. It was just one of those things where nature just did it absolutely perfectly. So this year we're going to try and complete our trip around Ireland. I think it's about the third or fourth attempt. <laughs> Between COVID and other things getting in the way, it just is what it is. Uh, but um, hopefully this year we'll do it. Hopefully you will want to come along with us and share the experience. Salty Lass is here in her slip and in a few days time we'll be moving her to a slightly different slip in the marina for the rest of the winter. And um, we've got one or two small jobs to do, but nothing that we want to put on video, nothing that we haven't already covered many, many times. So in spite of the setbacks we had, it was a good year. The trip was good. We had a lot of great uh, sailing that happened to us. Um, we got a lot more anchoring next year. 2023 we hope to do even more anchoring so if you know of great anchorages around Ireland and places we should go please do get in contact let us know that and we'll try to go to those places um just see how it all turns out clearly <laughs> sailing is very very unpredictable because <laughs> I think if 2022 proves anything it proves that so come along for the ride in 2023 and we hope you enjoy it as much as we do and we'll see you out there thanks for watching A uh, brief moment of excitement there. We um, had a couple of trawlers or fishing boats or something coming towards us. And...